Are you thinking about getting a new tent for this season, but don't know where to start? And maybe feel a bit overwhelmed by all the choices out there? Well, in today's episode, we will go through a five-step guide to make it easier for you finding the right tent. Hi, and welcome to a new episode. And if you're new to the channel, this channel is all about hiking, gear reviews, tips and tricks, and backpacking thoughts, and often from an ultralight and Swedish perspective. And if that is something you like, don't forget to subscribe. Now, one of the most common questions out there when it comes to hiking is regarding tents and how to find the right one. Especially this time of year when we are getting closer to springtime and you can almost hear the birds singing and feel the warmth of the sun. Usually, this is when people start to make plans for the hiking season to come. And regarding gear, a new tent is on many people's wish list for this season, including mine. It is difficult to find the right tent the first time you buy one, and the second time, and the third time. And that makes me wonder really if it ever is going to be easy. Hmm. There is so many tents out there and it's super easy to get lost really. So that's why I wanted to give you a few tips in this matter and also give you my five step guide to make it easier for you to finding the right tent. Now let's dig into the details and step number one. The absolute most important thing is, of course, to find out and determine a budget. Yeah, a budget. I know it has nothing to do with hiking and is perhaps a bit boring, but it is super easy to get carried away when you browse around the websites and look at all of those reviews on YouTube. And you end up paying a hell of a lot more than you initially thought you wanted to pay for a tent. So do a budget and stick to it. You will not regret it in the end. And it's better to have a tent that you actually can afford and have a little bit of more coin to do other stuff as well or to buy more gear, right? Hmm. Now, when you have your budget set, let's look at your needs. And the first up is the size. The most obvious is, of course, the size and how many people that you want to sleep inside the tent. If you need a one-person tent, two-person tent, three-person tent, or even bigger. But it is not all about how many people who will sleep inside the tent. You also need room for your gear and to move around when changing and going in and out and a dog, perhaps. So what many people do is to go for a bigger tent than what they need. So if you're alone, well then, most people do pick up a two-person tent. And the reason for that is to have more room inside for you and your gear. And it also helps a lot to be better organized and to be able to change and move around inside the tent. One-person tents tend to be a little bit cramped, so be prepared for that if you go for that solution. On the positive side though, a smaller tent, of course, weighs less. I would also recommend you looking for tents with a good size and vestibules for shoes, gear and maybe also cooking if the weather is bad. And if you are two people, it is good also to have two vestibules when going in and out. Otherwise, you have to climb over one another and that is no fun. Not all two-person tents have that. Finally, regarding size is the height and the length of the inner. You do want to be able to sit up straight inside the tent. It makes it easier to change and move around, so do measure yourself sitting on your butt and use that as a guide. Personally, I find it a bit low if it's below 93 centimeters. For length, well, if you're tall, then take special care about the length of the inner because you do want some space between you and the inner tent. Otherwise, there is a risk of the condensation to transfer to your sleeping bag and it will end up getting wet. Number three is the very important when you're hiking. Do you only hike summertime? Do you hike three season or maybe also winter? Then this is very important because there is a big difference in strength and the choice of fabrics to take the load of snow, for example, and also ventilation placed up high to get some air in. Then again, if it's just a cold winter day with no snow, a normal tent will also do the job. But if you're doing some serious hiking, maybe multiple days, when it is hard to predict the weather, do choose the correct tent for the season. And if you're out hiking winter time, do choose a tent for winter, also called the four season tent. Other than that, a three season tent is most of the time the right choice. Step number four is where you're hiking. And in some areas, of course, there's always snow and winter conditions, but I'm not talking about that. No, I'm talking about if you're hiking in the forest mainly and with the possibility to find a more protected spot for your camp in case of really bad weather and stronger winds. Or 
If you will be hiking in exposed areas up in the mountains above the tree line, where finding a protected spot is difficult. The choice of tents for those two scenarios will be different. If you're hiking in the mountains, you need a more storm-worthy tent that can take a beating and resist those strong winds. The designs to go for could be, for example, tippy tents, tunnel tents, self-supporting tents, but there are also some good alternatives when it comes to trek and pole supported tents as well. This is important to think about when choosing a tent for this kind of trips. If you're hiking in the forest mainly and have the possibility to choose a more protected site for your camp, the choice of tent isn't that important. The most important thing then for the tent is to protect you from getting wet, well, you and your gear, from the rain and from the wet ground. And of course, the bugs. Last thing regarding where you're hiking, except just picking up the right tent for the area you are hiking in, is to practicing to pitch your tent. Having a good pitch and to set it up properly and to use all the guidelines will make the tent handle bad weather much better. Last thing and step number five on my list is the wishes. And you can, of course, add as many wishes as you want. And I'm talking about things like I want a trekking post supported tent. I want a tent that weighs less than one kilo. Or I want a freestanding tent because I'm going to hike in rocky terrain. Or I want to bring my dog and much, much more. Aww, cute. All of those things is good to put down on paper and then use it to sort out the tents not meeting your requirements. It makes it so much easier. To end this five-step guide, I would like to say that it is not about what tent other people are using. Some people are into ultralight hiking and his or her dream tent is a 500 grams Dyneema tent. Or the traditional hiker whose dream tent is a Hilleberg and a Hilleberg only. And someone else will try to convince you that the only way to go is using a hammock. What? Well, they are not wrong, but that doesn't mean that those solutions are for you. So do go through the five step guide and based on your needs, browse the incredible and big amount of tents out there. And I'm sure you are going to find the perfect tent for you and your hikes. Now, if you have no clue where to start, I would first like to recommend you sticking to the well-known and established brands out there. But I also know that some of you would like me to present some alternatives. So here we go. You can never go wrong with the Hilleberg. It's a high quality tent, but with a drawback of weight and price. For budget alternative, I can recommend you the Lan Shan. You get a lot of tent for that kind of money. But tall people be aware. They are on the short side. For ultralight tents, I can recommend you set packs or tarp tents. They have a wide range of products, but beware that if you choose a DCF tent, it's going to come with a hefty price tag. Other than that, Big Agnes make great tents together with MSR and Sierra Designs, and that are a little bit more affordable. Now, if you have further questions, need some help or support, just post a comment down below and I'll come back to you as soon as I can. And if I can't answer your question, I can at least point you in a direction to someone who can. Now, that's it for today and thanks so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this episode about the five step guide and I hope you can find the right tent for you. So if you like this video, I hope you do choose to subscribe. And if you want to, to be noticed about future episodes, hit the notification bell. And I hope also that you like this video, so put your thumbs up. And I hope also to see you again next week. But for now, bye bye.